Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. In 2003, researchers did the measurements and found that Kansas is, in fact, literally flatter than a pancake. Of course, the Earth is not flat, the Earth is round. Otherwise, travelers would be falling off the edge all the time. Right? Wrong. So let's move on to the flat Earth issue. So I fell across this video by Rod Skiba talking about the Chicago skyline. And if the Earth was not flat, in other words, round or globe or an arc, you would not be able to see the Chicago skyline since from one shore across the next shore to Chicago on Lake Michigan, it's approximately 50 to 60 miles. And the horizon line starts to fall at about 22 miles. So he decided to do an experiment and I praise him very much for doing this experiment because I love pioneers and I love people that do actual experiments. And as I want to emphasize, I think Rod Skiba is brilliant in so many other areas, but as far as his flat earth calculations, he might be a little bit misguided, but that's for you to determine because again, I don't know, have all the answers, but I do a little research. Hey guys, Rod Skiba here. As many of you may know, I have for the better part of the last year, actually, been really wanting to go up to Lake Michigan to do some tests. And that, that came as a result of seeing this picture taken by a guy named Joshua Nowicki. And he apparently sent this picture, I guess, to a local news affiliate. And then the weatherman tried to explain what we were seeing by saying this. What you're seeing here is a mirage. We typically would not be able to see this from the Lake Michigan shore. We talked about this last night. Conditions are right on the lake that we're actually seeing a mirage of the Chicago skylight. Very interesting. Here, here's what's happening. This is a, a good example of a superior mirage. So Joshua was on the Lake Michigan shore. He was looking towards the west, and Chicago's beyond the horizon. Should not be able to see it. However, with the right conditions, we have an inversion. We have cold air near the cold lake water and some relatively warmer air above it. This will bend the image of that uh, skyline back towards the viewer. And so typically we would not be able to see this. This image would be viewable from much, much higher in the sky up in space. But instead, we're able to see it on the Lake Michigan shore. Be able to see this, this image would be viewable. Of course, this explanation is wrong. It's not due to the inversion of the weather or atmosphere. It is due to a mathematical equation of refraction which allows one to see the refracted image of Chicago over the arc of the earth based on distance and height. Okay, so after I saw that and looking at that picture, I'm sorry, there's just, there's no way that's a mirage and, and I, I couldn't accept that. Uh, my friend Rick Hummer couldn't accept that either. He said, you know, we've all seen it. We live, anybody who lives in this area can look across the lake. We've all seen Chicago. And uh, he and I put together a plan to just drive toward the city, get in a boat and head to the city and drive back. Because if it's a mirage, then it's just going to magically disappear and then the city will roll up over the ball and, you know, that would be what we would expect to happen. Uh, Willis or Sears Tower in Chicago. With that in mind, let me just say that this video and the purpose really of, of the trip, the one goal I had was to prove that what people are seeing from the other side of Lake Michigan is not a mirage, that they are actually seeing the city. That was my goal going there. I believe we achieved that goal. And so that is the primary focus of this video. And the longer video, uh, I'll do. So how far are we right now? 37 nautical miles on a heading at 280. Yeah, okay, so what do you think, Rob? I can uh, I can see we've got Chicago. Five, We're about 42 uh, miles away. I can see it. The problem is uh, trying to get right the, now. the camera's yeah. having trouble focusing on it because it's moving uh, up and down, and it's so zoomed in. But I can totally see it, but it's just not fast. I mean, it's so here they are on their boat going across Lake Michigan and they're going to be recording the horizon line which they should be able to see at any given point on this journey since Chicago is a close to maybe a thousand feet above where they're at on the water. Here's the Wikipedia page 
diagramming the equations and as you can see um, here's the horizon line uh, this is a uh, lighthouse down the arc of the earth but if you do the equations this light travels toward this uh, center point which is the horizon light and the oh, that's a better view and the boat that is below the horizon line can see the image of this lighthouse at this central point where they're both horizon lines meet depending on the distance away and the height of what you're going to be seeing so the lighthouse looks as though it can't see the boat but they can both see the boat can see the light because the light travels and then uh, the lighthouse it can be seen when the boat gets a little bit higher on the horizon but you e see the images down below the horizon depending on distance and height and even the height of uh, the shorelines on which we're standing because different shorelines have different heights you can be on the top of a tall rocky cliff versus a very low island and that you would see different distances over the horizon line depending on that particular place. We're still 27 nautical miles away. Okay. We've gone about 10 miles from New Buffalo. You want to shoot off the stern again? Oh man, I can see it right here, guys. That's a heck of a mirage right there. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, Tony? That, that is a heck of a mirage right there. Yeah. Ron Skeeve is a very smart and intelligent man. I've enjoyed many of his uh, videos, and he can call uh, an ace an ace when he sees it, and he can call, shall I say, uh, phony baloney on the conventional traditional scientists who say that, uh, yes, they believe in evolution, but they also believe that Martians came down and created mankind through genetic manipulation, which is crazy 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 also the scientists believe in the seed theory that we were seeded from another planet i don't know but uh i don't believe any of that stuff i believe the earth and god and nature goes through its ups and downs and nature and life will always exist but it has to go through its own upheavals and this is uh we our minds are not great like god's mind so we can't quite know everything we just need to extrapolate Let's go back to this, though. However, according to Wikipedia, the horizon line that we can see is about 22 miles if we're standing on the shore, standing on the water, 22 miles. However, Chicago, if you're standing on the shore of Chicago, you can see out to this horizon 22-mile line, too. So, yes, it is not a mirage. What it is, is it's a refraction. Chicago can see this far, and my refraction is refracted up here depending on my height and distance to this horizon line. So the higher this horizon line of Chicago is, the farther that I can see it over this horizon line, only through refraction. Not that I can see over the horizon line. I can just see the image come over. And it's you use the Pythagorean uh, square or triangle theorem plus refraction, plus time, distance, and whatever, to figure out how far that image will travel on its photons up over that horizon line to allow us to meet it. Well, so Chicago, I shouldn't be able to see the actual shore of Chicago, since Chicago, let's say, it's 60 miles away. But for every three miles, for every 100 feet, this horizon line rises up over where I'm standing, I can see three more miles. That's the image being refracted, three more miles. So instead of 22 miles, if this horizon line is 100 feet over from where I'm standing, I can see not only 22 feet, I can see uh, 25 feet. Um, all right, 25 miles. Or they say this is going to be 35 kilometers and I can see 40 kilometers farther. So every so this depends on the elevation of this shoreline versus the elevation of this shoreline. So I can see farther depending on 100 feet differential of shoreline. But then Going Chicago there, So, but then Chicago 
also buildings. Some of these buildings on the horizon like are a thousand feet high. So that's 10 times, or I can see 30 miles farther over the horizon line. So therefore from here, 22 miles. Okay, I can see the shoreline of Chicago at 22 miles, but then 30 more miles, which is 52 miles, depending on where the elevation of these buildings are. So that's fairly close that you should be able to see the, uh, the tallest buildings around the horizon line from Chicago over here. Um, so the weatherman was wrong when he stated that it's a mirage. It's not a mirage. It's an actual image, like our eyes take image. We only can take photonic images, and I'm calling it a photon. Okay, image. If we did not see the photon's images, we wouldn't even, Mr. Skiva would not even be able to see the front of his boat. If but for the photon image traveling to his eye at the speed of light. And as it travels to his eye, it arcs. So this Chicago image is going to be arcing up depending on its distance and height and my height and distance from the center horizon line. And if I've interpreted this wrong, please correct me. Here's the Wikipedia page diagramming the equations. And as you can see, um, here's the horizon line. Uh, this is a uh, lighthouse down the arc of the earth. But if you do the equations, this light travels toward this uh, center point, which is the horizon light, and the, uh, that's a better view, and the boat that is below the horizon line can see the image of this lighthouse at this central point where they're both horizon lines meet depending on the distance away and the height of what you're going to be seeing. But here is the short equation to h1 times distance times your uh, height 